Namaste beautiful yogis. Today's sequence is built around back strengthening exercises in order to prepare us for proper back bends and to give us stability, core stability, back stability, general strength. We're gonna work on strengthening the upper and the lower back, therefore we'll prevent injuries and at the same time open and allow the back to open for back extensions back bends such as Kamat Karasana. We'll work on core stability. Dynamic core moves. Strong standing sequence, some arm balances. Back extensions. Heart openers. Great, let's begin at the front of our mat. Bring your feet hip width apart. The toes are pointing directly forward, outer edges of the feet parallel to each other. And let's roll the shoulders back and down, dropping the shoulder blades down into your back. Open the palms of your hands forward, chin parallel to the floor, slight tuck in the tailbone, pull your belly in and up, connecting with your mula bandha. and focus on your breath. Inhale your arms all the way over your head, clasping the fingers and reaching over to one side. Side bend. Back to center, over to the opposite side. Planting equally both feet into your mat. Coming back to center. Let's take chair pose. Pushing the knees as far back as you can, pull the belly in, straighten the legs and reach in front of you, palms of the hands facing each other, keeping the lower back curve, shoulders down, pull the belly in, you can keep a slight bend in your knees here and still keep that alignment, we're gonna do back pull downs, let's go, you're gonna bring your elbows out, by your sides, aligning them with your torso and contracting the upper back muscles as you do that. Hold and squeeze. Great. And let's bring the hands behind the head, chest parallel to the floor, torso parallel to the floor, elbows out in the same line with ears. Great. Release and you can drop your chest over your thighs and clasp your hands behind you, looking over to your left and to your right. Relaxing your neck. Inhale, come back up into chair pose. Sit a little deeper here. Exhale, straighten the legs forward bent. Breathe into your hamstrings, into your glutes. Inhale, look ahead of you. Hands on the floor, step in plank. Spread your fingers open. Press into your thumbs. Open the chest, drop the shoulders down. Keep your back wide, belly in. Press the heels away from you. Lower down Chaturanga. Open, upward facing dog. Pressing into your toes, lifting the kneecaps up. Back to Chaturanga and exhale in downward facing dog. Drawing the belly in and up, reinforcing Mula Bandha and Udhyana Bandha.
pay attention to your heels here there is a downward motion into your heels regardless of if they're touching the floor or not spread your fingers open keep your ears between your triceps lift your tailbone as high as you can and let's step the feet at the front of the mat forward bend inhale flat back coming all the way up to standing hands over the heart and let's sit in chair pose one more time we're gonna prepare for a few more pull downs keep your elbows out to the sides in the same plane with your ears and a few flies bringing the forearms together and opening out again aligning your forearms with your torso palms facing each other and then palms facing the floor contracting at the top of this rep contract your upper back great here we can bring the elbows even deeper towards the rib cage try to align here properly and let's relax in a forward bend clasping the hands behind us Sophie is gonna be joining me today for the entire class so I hope she's not too distracting let's step into plank And we're gonna take the right foot across from our body, open into modified side plank, lower back down and over to the other side. We can do up to 10 repetitions of this depending on your strength. Let's begin. Going side to side and keeping your alignment, keeping your hips lifted, keep your belly in. Keeping the hands underneath the shoulders. Continue, count your reps up to 10, 5 on each side. And as you get stronger with time, you can increase your reps up to 20, pausing the video and doing a few more. When you're done, come into downward facing dog. Pull the belly in and up, lift the kneecaps up. And let's take plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog, lifting here the quadriceps, contracting the quads. Back to chaturanga, exhale, downward facing dog, pulling the navel in towards the spine. Great, and let's walk to the front of the mat. Exhale, forward bend. You can grab your calves and pull your body a tiny bit closer in so that you can begin to deepen your forward bends. And let's sit in chair pose. And we're gonna straighten the legs and reach way ahead of us. Very important here to keep the lower back curve. Do not allow your back to round. You can open your elbows out, flare the elbows out, keeping the upper arm and the forearm in 90 degree angle. Coming out of this, hands over the heart, prayer in standing. And a few more side bends. This time bring one hand onto your hip and reach up and over your head with the opposite arm. Switching sides, tuck the tailbone under and press into your feet equally. Relax the shoulders down. Coming back out of this, 
inhale your hands all the way over your head over the third eye over the heart exhale bending forward halfway down hands on the shin bones exhale all the way into forward bend inhale look ahead of you planting the hands on the floor step into plank spread the fingers open press into your thumbs and into your index fingers to prevent and protect your wrists prevent from wrist pain and here we're gonna this is a demonstration grab opposite hand to knee let's go 10 reps five on each side focus on stabilizing here one key tip that I can give you here is the foot that is on the floor press the heel away from you that is gonna help you to stabilize here and not be shaky belly in keep a gazing point choose the gazing point and stay there it allows your mind to be quiet once you're done with the tap 10 reps go into a vinyasa upward facing dog Chaturanga and exhale in downward facing dog inhale the right leg up step the right foot between your hands inhale come up high lunge press the back heel away from you extend your tailbone down drop the shoulders away from the ears here I'm really extending my tailbone down and I'm gonna bend the left knee and extend it towards or lower it towards the floor for five reps keeping the tailbone extended down pressing the back heel away from you bring your chest over your right thigh hands over the heart Let's open the arms out and do a few partial lifts and now we're gonna go into plies. Try to keep your alignment here and align your joints, aligning your forearms with your ears and really contracting the upper back as you hold a deep lunge here and release bring your hands behind you clasping the fingers lower your head towards your ankle inhale coming out of this let's bring the left arm on the floor right hand all the way up towards the ceiling press the back heel straight up right and transition into side plank left arm on the floor hips on top of each other you can either stack or stagger your feet here and back to plank lower down chaturanga inhale upward facing dog the belly is in tailbone is extended down back to chaturanga and exhale downward facing dog inhale left leg up step the left foot between your hands and come up pressing the back heel away from you and up towards the ceiling we're gonna continue with lowering dipping the knees down towards the floor extending the tailbone down so this is a closed chain lunge as well as an opportunity to stretch the hip flexors right let's bring the chest over the thigh hands over the heart open the arms out and let's do a few small contractions here and now we're gonna do pull downs as if you're pulling down on a chain in front of you or ropes or weight for 10 keep your lower back strong 
belly sin and let's bring the hands behind us clasping the fingers lower the head down towards your ankle go as deep as your body allows you to go and from here we're gonna lower the right hand on the floor left arm reaches all the way up keep your back heel strong keep your left hip back and prepare for side plank holding side plank keeping the hips lifted back to plank chaturanga upward facing dog chaturanga and exhale downward facing dog coming back to your breath mula bandha udhyana bandha spread the fingers open reinforcing Planting the space between the thumb and the index finger down into your mat to protect your wrists. Let's come on to the tippy toes, look ahead of you and jump into forward bend. Take chair pose. Hands over the heart. And let's bring the right elbow on the outside of the left knee, twisting chair. Keep the chest open and the shoulders down. Inhale back to center, exhale completely and over to the opposite side. Keep your knees square. Inhale back to center, hands over the head. And we're gonna bring the hands again in fly alignment for 10 more of this while holding chair so keep squeezing the inner thighs towards the midline as you move your arms contracting the upper back even though we're not using any weight you're gonna feel this tomorrow if you contract at the top of your reps I promise you're gonna feel your back getting stronger and you're gonna prepare for openness in the upper back. Deeper back bending. And holding forward bend here, just allow your upper body to hang heavy. Wrapping the elbows around the wrists, wrists around the elbows. And let's bring the hands on the floor and jump back into chaturanga inhale upward facing dog and back to chaturanga plank holding plank strong plank belly in tailbone tucked under strong heels strong inner thighs we're gonna begin stepping the feet one at a time out to the outer edge of the mat. Right foot to the right, left foot to the left. 10 reps, five on each side. Go as fast as you can and keep your form. Once you're done, Step in plank, jump your feet forward on the outer edges of the mat and back. Ten of those. Here I'm slowing the reps down. Rather than moving real quickly, I'm doing the jumping in a slower motion, in a slower mode. So that I'm feeling the core connection and better. Once you're done with your 10 reps, you can lower all the way onto your belly, hands behind your head, and we're gonna lift the chest off the floor and lower. 
lift again, elbows back, lower. One more time, lift, exhale, lower down, extending the tailbone down. And again, lift, release, lift. And now we're gonna open the arms out and release them down. Exhale and sit in child's pose. From all this back bend work, going into a mild forward bend. Great, and let's come up into downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg comes up. Exhale, step the right foot between your hands. Come up, warrior one. Hips facing forward. Hands over the heart. And open into warrior two. Pressing into the outer edge of your left foot here, externally rotating the left hip, lifting the kneecap up on the left side. Straighten your legs, lifting both kneecaps, reach way ahead of you and lower down. Triangle pose. Standing triangle pose with the Trikonasana. Here we're lengthening both sides of the torso, lengthening the belly, lengthening the back. Drop the shoulders down, reach with your left arm over your head, palm facing down. Exhale, both hands on the floor and come into wide-legged forward bend at the center of your mat. Feet are parallel to each other here. Great, walk your hands to the back of your mat, facing the back of your room and come up, warrior one, left leg is leading here. Keep squaring your hips forward, keep pressing the right heel down and open into warrior two, take a little wider stance here, make sure your knee is pointing directly forward, sink a little deeper here lifting the arches of both feet soften your fingertips soften your gaze soften your jaw soften your shoulders straighten both knees here reach way ahead of you as if you're trying to really lengthen your torso and once you feel that your spine is elongated lower your hand down. If your hand doesn't go all the way down to the floor, just bring it over your shin bone or underneath your knee. Keep lengthening here. This is a continuous work. Keep opening the right hip. Keep pressing the left leg back into the hip. Reaching over the head and lower both hands down. Walk them to the center of your mat between your feet and come into forward bend with the feet three to four feet apart. Inhale, bring your chest parallel to the floor, hands underneath the shoulders and let's keep the left hand on the floor, right arm reaches all the way up. The hands are reaching away from each other here. Reach way ahead of you towards the side of your room here in front of you and switch sides reaching over the head with the left arm this time and then reach over your head palm of your hand facing down shoulder back down and release down into a forward bend one more time pressing equally into the outer and inner edges of your feet here Great, let's walk the hands to the front of the mat. Lower down Chaturanga, inhale, upward facing dog, pressing the collarbones apart, opening the space between the collarbones. Back to Chaturanga, exhale and downward facing dog. Feel free to modify Chaturanga Dandasana 
with your knees on the floor so that you can develop the strength. I'm trying to convince my puppy that she wants to lay somewhere else but she's not buying it today. Inhale, so she remains with me. <laughs> Inhale, right leg comes up. Come up, warrior one. And let's open into warrior two. Sink a little deeper in here. Come back to your breath. Reverse your warrior, walk your left hand down the left leg. Reach with your right hand over the head, possibly back. Straighten both legs here, straightening the right leg. Really reach, find a lot of space here. Coming out of this, lower both hands on the inside of your right foot. Walk them between your feet. Point your feet out and come up, plie squat. Pressing into the outer and inner edges of your feet here, hands over the heart. Sink as deep as you can into your plie, but make sure your alignment is great so that there is no pressure in your knees. And we're gonna come halfway down and go ahead and do a few more of those flies. I'm just using the gym term here and pull downs for a lack of better way to describe these poses. And come back into plie. You can straighten your legs, face the back of your room just to change your perspective of your mat. And come up, warrior one, left knee leading. over the heart, warrior two. And let's reverse the warrior. Keep your knee bent. We're not changing anything about the lower body here. We're just reaching up and over the head and back towards the back or the front of the room, however you wanna describe it and let's straighten the leading knee here great coming out of this lower both hands on the floor and let's lower down onto our belly hands over the head lift your hands and your feet legs off the floor and let's bring the hands behind the head and hold release Prepare for a few more of those. Lift, hands and legs are coming off the floor. Lift as high as you can. Feel your lower back working. The glutes are working as well. Hamstrings are working. Upper back is working. Release. And exhale, extended puppy pose or child's pose. I have been liking extended puppy pose a lot lately because it really allows you to stretch the spine. Great. Let's step the left foot forward. Bring your hands between your legs. Again, one more time, play a squat. And we're gonna lower the left hand by the left ankle and reach with the right arm up back to center switch sides you can keep your elbow over your knee or you can lower down however or wherever your level is at keep lifting the arches of the feet stepping on the outer and inner edges of the foot and back to center sink a little deeper in your plie here lift your toes off the floor great straighten the legs Come to the front of your mat, lower down, downward facing dog. All right, we made it through the plie squats. Come back to your breath.
putting a strong and easy downward facing dog. Find ease in your poses and jump your feet to the front of your mat. Chair pose. Press your knees back. Let's bring the right elbow on the outside of the left knee. Either stay here and hold this or you can transition into straightening your arms reaching away from each other the arms are reaching and into side crawl hands on the ground lifting into side crawl coming back reversing the movements preparing for the opposite side left elbow right knee walk up into this twisted chair pose you can reach with your hands away from each other and you can transition into side crawl. And back to chair pose. Inhale, coming back up to standing. And let's prepare for a standing back bend here. We're gonna bring the hands on the lower back fingers pointing up if possible otherwise they can point down tuck your tailbone under leading with your hips press your hips forward and lift as if your lower back is trying to lift away from your hands from your fingers as if you're trying to touch the ceiling with your heart lifting through your heart the goal here is not to go back with your head but to lift through your heart Gently come out of this. Back to standing, reaching with your hands over your head. Exhale, lower down, forward bend. Inhale, look ahead. Exhale, forward bend. You can grab your calves and bring your belly in closer to your thighs. Inhale, look ahead of you, halfway up. Hands on the floor and jump back into chaturanga inhale upward facing dog and back into chaturanga exhale in downward facing dog pull the belly in and up inhale right leg comes up Step the right foot between your hands and come up, high lunge, hands over the heart, let's bring the left elbow on the outside of the right knee, open the chest, widen the back, lengthen through the crown of your head and slowly come back up to center, straighten both legs, step your back foot slightly in, reach with your left hand way ahead of you and lower your left hand either on the floor or on your foot or on your shin bone reversing coming into a revolved triangle pose keep pressing into the outer edge of your left foot here hips are square reach with your right arm ahead of you and lower down into intense side stretch the hips are still square here hands on the floor and let's step into plank chaturanga upward facing dog back to chaturanga exhale downward facing dog inhale left leg comes up step your foot between your hands come up high lunge hands over the heart let's bring the right elbow on the outside of the left knee shoulders are down look back inhale coming out of this twist straighten both legs reach with your right hand way ahead of you lower your right hand somewhere on the floor on your shin bone and go into revolving triangle pose keep pressing into the outer edge of your back foot here try to straighten your spine as much as you can straightening the sides of your body the obliques keeping strong lines great coming out of this into 
intense side stretch lowering the chest over the left thigh pressing into the outer edge of the right foot here look ahead of you and this time we're gonna step the feet at the front of the mat keeping a slight bend in your knees wrap your wrists around your elbows and just hang bring your chest over your legs and just allow your upper body to rest decompress from here if you can this is only optional if your knees are strong you can come into a complete squat hugging your legs grabbing the big toes and rolling all the way back into plow this is optional only if you find this to be a fun way to transition and also if your knees are okay with coming into a full squat otherwise you can continue straight into both poses laying on your back here make sure your lower back is on the floor you can reach over your head and release hugging the knees into the chest and rolling out back to plank for a few knee tucks then let's begin alternating knee tucks five on each side keep your knee as high as you can into your rib cage pull the belly in contracting the abdominal muscles and now we're gonna do knee tucks on the outer side of our elbows 10 on each side and now let's do across the body 10 on each side I'm doing two additional ones just for a demonstration in effort to give you time to stay with me great release your knees on the floor once you're done with your 10 last 10 reps and come into seated either child's pose or extended body great from here let's set up to lay on our back slowly lower yourself down on your back bring your legs up you can bend your knees at 90 degrees or even a dollar bigger angle 100 110 and reach over your head press your lower back into the floor I'm widening the angle here and even straightening my legs pointing my toes lowering them down you can lower down as long your legs can be as low to the floor as you can keep them as long as your lower back is on the floor and rest from it again coming back up you can bring your hand underneath between your mat and your lower back to make sure there is no space whatsoever there you're really pressing your lower back down look at your belly try to press your stomach down it tends to pop out here try to press your stomach down and exhale lay on your back bring the right knee across from your body look over to your left inhale and come back up switching sides your knees into your chest one more time we're gonna bend the knees and reach over the head pressing the lower back into the floor strengthening the core here establishing true connection with your core I'm lowering my legs uh, but I'm making sure that my lower back is on the floor otherwise don't lower them this far down and to release and relax out of this you can bring the soles of the feet together and hold them with your hands 
pressing the knees away from you. Great, releasing, letting go of this pose. Let's prepare for bridge pose here. We did a lot of upper back strengthening, so we're gonna go into back bends now. Bring the palms of your hands facing each other, arms on the floor, elbows closer to each other, and lift into bridge pose. Here, important is to keep your toes pointing forward and your feet hip width apart. You can lift your toes, lift your hips as high as you can, tuck your tailbone under, keep your knees pointing straight, and release. You can bring the knees into each other. One more time, lift. You can clasp your hands underneath you, pressing the hands down into the mat, helping you press your hips a little higher up, bringing the chest into your chin. Keeping the alignment of your legs. Try not to open your knees out. We're trying to protect the lower back. You can continue with wheel pose, chakrasana. Feet are still pointing forward, knees are pointing forward, pressing the chest back towards the front of your room here, back away from your legs. You're really opening the chest. And optional again is to lift one leg up towards the ceiling, lower it back down and lift the other one. Lower it back down and slowly one vertebra at a time lower yourself down, knees together. You can bring your hands over the second and fourth chakra and just hold here or stay here or be here. Either stay a little longer in this pose or you can hug your knees into your chest. Breathe into your lower back here. Grab the other edges of the feet, the happy baby. Press your knees down. Breathe into your hips. Breathe into your lower back. Flex your feet. One more time. Bring the soles of your feet together. And let's grab the right knee and then the left knee extending the opposite leg. A few more of those, bringing the knee towards the forehead, switching. And relax one more time, supine so twist. The right knee comes across from your body, look over to your left. Soften your obliques, soften your belly. Exhale, coming out of this and over to the opposite side, softening your back. You can begin to let go of your ujjayi breath here or deep yoga breath, coming back to a normal breath. Lift your legs, heels up towards the ceiling, hands behind the head and do 10 crunches here. Trying to keep your elbows back and your chest open. I'm really doing a very small move here. Nothing major, just contracting the abs. 
Split the legs, one is hovering over the floor and continue with the crunches. And switch. Switching legs. your knees in. We'll continue with a few hip openers. Let's bring the right ankle just over the left knee pressing the right knee away from you optional is to bring straighten the left leg and bring it over your chest and switch sides left ankle over the right knee optional straightening the leg Slowly allow your body to begin to let go of tension. Softening the toes, softening the feet, softening the shin bones, softening the calves, the back of the knees the kneecaps, your thighs, the back of your legs, softening the glutes, softening, exhaling through the hips, pelvic area, sacrum, lower belly, exhaling into that entire area letting go of tension letting go of what we're holding on to softening the upper belly softening the rib cage softening the lower back, mid back, upper back and let's soften the shoulders, the back, the sides, the front of the shoulders, soften your chest, soften your heart, allow your heart to blossom, allow your heart to glow, feeling expansiveness, openness, freedom. And let's soften the back of the throat. Soften the back of your neck, the skull, allowing the head to lay on the floor, white, Soften your jaw, softening the face muscles, allowing the eyes to sink back in into their sockets, softening the inner ears, softening the forehead, feeling the warm tingling sensation in the soles of your feet and in the palms of your hands the hands and the fingers the forearms and your upper arms are softening and 
can feel as if your body is becoming heavier, as if you're sinking through the floor, becoming very heavy, and at the same time light, almost weightless. into your lower belly exhale and feel your body becoming even heavier and in the same time lighter weightless Now begin to turn your attention, your gaze towards your third eye and slowly begin to shift that gaze in towards your heart, observing your heart with the eyes of an external witness, outer witness, no judgment, just love. Tuning into the sound of your heart beating and allow the sound of your heart beat become the center the central focus for you right now the focal point of this moment allowing everything else around you to disappear to become unimportant, insignificant. And just stay in this very moment, only listening to the sound of your heart, allowing yourself to be completely and fully present aware of this very moment with each inhalation feeling openness lightness expansiveness with each exhalation feeling your body becoming heavier feeling becoming one with the sensation of letting go letting go of attachment ideas expectations And again, as you inhale, feel your heart filling up with light, glowing. And as you exhale, soften into the floor, melt, let go into the floor. And again, coming back to the sound of the heart beating, your own heart beat.
inhaling expansiveness exhaling heart allowing the heart to be free to love fully and unconditionally extending this love out into the world and back towards yourself loving everything and everyone in yourself with full open blossoming heart and as you hold this feeling of love into your heart slowly begin to deepen your breath bringing the breath into your lower belly and now slowly begin to pay attention to your surroundings bring your awareness back into the room Becoming aware of the room you're in, the street you're on, the neighborhood, the city. Paying attention to all the sensations around you, the sounds, the noise, the feeling of the ground underneath you, the feeling of the air touching your skin. And keeping the eyes closed, Slowly begin to wiggle your toes and fingers. Moving the eyes, drawing circles with your eyes. Inhale your hands over your head, point your toes, stretch. Bring your knees into your chest and roll onto your side, still keeping the eyes closed. And with your top hand, press yourself gently into a cross-legged seated pose or any comfortable position. Inhale your hands over your head, bring them over your third eye and over the heart, sealing the benefits of the practice today. And let's bow to our hearts for their forgiveness, compassion, and love. Namaste.